Hey guys, it's Taylor and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am so excited for this video because I'm just so excited for the month of February and my TBR. So today's video is my February TBR as you read by the title and I am so determined to actually stick to my TBR this month because there's so many books that I've been wanting to read and I've been saving for Valentine's Day like time period on purpose so let's just get straight on into this video so like I mentioned I've been saving a lot of like romances that I've been wanting to read for this month on purpose because I'm hoping that I'll be in a very like romancy mood with the Valentine's holiday um and I've gotten just amazing books for Christmas and with Christmas money and stuff my TBR cart I moved over here so I can pull them right out because I already set up on the top shelf like what we're going to be doing and also my goal is to read one Kindle Limited book and one audiobook this month as well. I haven't yet picked them, but by the time this video is up, maybe I'll put them like on the screen what I think I'm going to read, but I'm not 100% sure on that yet. But let's just get started. In no particular order, the first book I have is By a Thread by Lucy's Score. It's pink first off, so I feel like it's just fitting the vibe. Um, I read Things We Never Got Over last year, really liked it. Um, and this is my second ever Lucy's Score book. I've just seen a lot of really good reviews on this. And it was in my barn, so I picked it up and I've been saving it for February. Next book I have is You Deserve Each Other by Sarah H Hoggle. Um, this book was actually on my December TBR, if you watched it. I really never make TBRs. Like, this is the first time I'm making one where I actually 100% plan to, like, like, stick to it. Um, this is just a very popular romance book. And again, it's, like, pinky, purpley, and it's giving Valentine's Day vibes. So I've been saving a lot of romances for this month on purpose. I honestly don't really know much about this but she's on there next book we have is hunting adeline this is the second book in the cat and mouse duet i'm actually reading haunting adeline right now on um i'm reading on my kindle but i have the paperback as well so i put this on here as like a tentative tbr if i finish haunting adeline and i really like it then i'll put this on my tbr but if i finish it i'm kind of like eh then i could push this back for a different month but so this is like a maybe then i have the flat share by beth o'leary i just think this cover is like the prettiest thing ever and it's just giving me like valentine's day vibes again very like fun and cute and like watercolory i don't know um this is about like roommates who are like writing to each other with post-it notes i think i think they like one works night shift one works day shift like they never see each other and they communicate like through that but it's like a shared bed trope but they don't share at the same time i don't know it's interesting and i've been saving it for this month then i have taylor jenkins read carrie soto is back i've had this book on my shelf for literally ever and i need to read it destiny just read this in one of her book vlogs and was like ranting and raving about it and like i've been kind of pushing it off just because i don't really like i'm not interested in tennis but i love taylor jenkins read so of course i bought it but she was saying it was amazing and i finished daisy jones in the sixth last week and it was so good and i think this is no i have one more book after this to read her whole backlist so i'm like let's just get it done i love her books i always end up going into them not knowing much then coming out i'm like oh my god so i'm hoping that's gonna be the same with this one okay next we have a little life um i've been wanting to read this and then i just watched a book vlog where the girl read this and like basically ranted about how it should have never been written and it's like extremely triggering and like the topics are like way too deep and like not in a good way so i'm kind of hesitant to read this now i don't know if any of you have read this let me know i wanted to buddy read this with someone that i talked to on instagram because she was gonna read it this month so i don't know if i'm still gonna read it so i'm gonna put it on my tbr because I might, but I might have to do some more research. I don't think that I ever really get triggered by anything in, in books. Like, I'm usually able to just kind of read them. But I've just heard, like, really bad reviews about this, which is surprising because it's so popular. So, I don't know about this one. Next, we have Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I literally just got this in the mail today. The cover is so freaking pretty. Like, I absolutely love when book covers are so pretty that, like, I can't wait to add them to my shelf. Like, that's what this one is giving me. I know this is about a, like, video game thing. So, honestly, I don't know really what this is about other than I heard people talking about it has to do with video games. But I like to go into my books blind. If you couldn't tell by now, I barely ever read the synopsis. I love to go into a book blind. Um, you just tell me a book is good and I'll read it without even reading what it's about because I just feel like it gives me so much more emotion when I go in blind, so. This next book, I don't really want to read. This is The Soulmate Equation by Christina um, Lauren. She read or wrote Love in Other Words. I love that book so much. I've had this on my shelf 
for literally months now and for some reason like it just doesn't make me want to pick it up and i know what it's kind of vaguely about i know that it's about like a, G a dna dna a dna like testing and it's kind of like finding your soulmate and blah 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 so i figured that'd be great for valentine's day which is why i put on this tbr because i feel like i need to read it i hate leaving books on my shelves for months that i haven't read um and i know that sometimes when there's a book where i'm just like dreading reading not for any particular reason i just don't feel like reading it for some reason then it turns out to be like a five star or a four and a half star so i'm hoping that's what happens with this book and then i cannot have it on my tbr cart anymore so then i added twisted lies to my tbr this is the last book in the twisted series i just picked this up about a week ago um and i feel like i just want to read this well one because it's a romance and i feel like most of my books this month are going off of the romance theme but also i want to just finish this series i'm trying to like wrap up the series that i started last year early this year before i start any new series this year and then going into series i have the brutal um prince which is a series this is the brutal birthright series it's a mafia romance and there's six books in the series um this is the first ever mafia romance book i'm gonna read and it's also the first sophie lark book i'm gonna read um all of her covers are so pretty and she has so many series and i feel like i've seen them everywhere and i'm just dying to get my like hands on one of them and like read it so i don't really want to start this because i don't want to start a series and have to buy more books when i have so many books to read so i'm kind of putting this towards the end of february and i've finished like a good dent of these then i'll let myself read this one because i'm really excited to read a mafia romance i'm kind of dabbling in some new things this year like i'm reading like haunting adeline which is a very dark romance which is not what i would have read like literally last january i was reading it ends with us like completely different spectrum so and the last physical book i have on my tbr is sweet dandelion by michaela smelter um again i've heard amazing things about this i've heard it's like really sad and i've had it on my amazon wish list for a long time and when i was at barnes actually yesterday they had it and i was like you know what i'll just pick it up it's such a beautiful like spine and cover and it was giving me february vibes again because of like the color scheme i'm just a sucker for some pinks and purples and um i just read the back of this i don't really know much about it it sounds like it's really sad so i don't know if it's gonna be like a sad book or if it's gonna be like a good romance book it's just basically talking about how she goes through like a trauma and then this guy is like trying to help her and it's like the worst trauma he's ever seen and yeah i think that i want to read at least 10 books every single month so this was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think 12 if i'm counting them all and then an audiobook and a kindle unlimited book but we shall see i'm really gonna try and stick to this tbr so please hold me accountable when i do my february wrap up because i really want to get some of these books like they've been on my tbr for a really long time and i've been saving them for a romancy month so we need to get them done so let me know down below what books are on your february tbr or if you've read any of the books that i'm going to read this month or if you want to buddy read anything with me i really want to do a buddy read this month so let me let me know and my book instagram and my book talk and everything will be in the description box as always i'd love to connect with you guys on there thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you in my next one